I'm Lanny and this is Preserving Today, a Greener Postures project. Will pressure canning ruin the gelatin structure in bone broth? The internet says yes, canning ruins gelatin. But I'm a skeptic and I need to find out for myself, of course. So to make sure this is a fair experiment, I needed to start with gelatin rich bone broth. So I did that by making bone broth and then putting it in the refrigerator to make sure that it gelled at refrigerator temperature. And you can see that it did. This stuff's like jello. It was hard to get out of the jar to dump it all in the pot. Now I need to heat the broth back up. We need to have hot broth in hot jars before it goes in the pressure canner. I fill my jars, wipe the rims, add my warm lids and rings and put them in the pressure canner. I did 15 PSI for 25 minutes for these quart jars. Recipes call for 10 PSI, but my canner only operates as a pressure canner at 15 PSI. Then and I let them sit on the counter for 12 hours. The jars were totally room temperature and I double checked the seals were correct. After that, I moved one jar into the refrigerator and left the other on the counter overnight. And here we are the next morning. The jar on the left was left on the counter at room temperature and the jar on the right was kept in the refrigerator. Now from the jar on the left, I can already tell there's still gelatin in this bone broth. When the liquid moves around, there's some viscosity. It's not just watery. When I look on the one at the right, you can tell right away that this is definitely gelatinous. It's super jelly. When I move the jar, it pulls away from the sides and keeps its shape, like this was jello made in a mold. So while I can't say definitively that all bone broth will not lose its gelatin structure when it's pressure canned, I can say that the, with this beef broth that I made, it did maintain its gelatin. Now I can't test for other nutrients. I can't test for minerals. I can't test for amino acids or vitamins, but I can see this gelatin structure in this bone broth. If it wasn't there, it wouldn't gel. So in this case, yes, the beneficial gelatin and collagen was maintained even during pressure canning with this broth. So in conclusion, I think that for my household, pressure canning is a great idea for having nourishing bone broth on hand without taking up freezer space. If you wanna know how to make gelatin rich bone broth at home, check out greenerpostures.com slash workshops for more info on the bone broth workshop. I'm Lanny and this was Preserving Today, a Greener Postures project.